So there's a major story brewing in California. A judge has ruled that all coffee products must now display a cancer warning label. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is here to tell us what this means for coffee drinkers. Good morning again, Jan. Good morning, you guys. Apparently, this judge out in California may not believe that the benefits of coffee outweigh the risks. Mm -hmm. And we'll explain here. A cancer warning label on coffee in California, yes. A Los Angeles judge made that decision after a nonprofit sued under a state law there. But is this ruling backed by science? That's still unclear. I drink coffee. I love coffee. It's a good thing. Um, I have no problem with it. Some coffee connoisseurs aren't letting a new ruling ruin their morning routine, even after a California judge decided coffee roasters, distributors, and retailers like Starbucks must include on their products a label that the beverage can cause cancer. At the center of the lawsuit is a state law requiring warnings on a wide range of cancer-causing chemicals. One of those chemicals, acrylamide, a carcinogen produced in the coffee bean roasting process and found in coffee. Bill Reist in part teaches the science of coffee coffee at the University of California, Davis. That's the major reason coffee turns brown. The coffee industry had claimed the chemical was present at harmless levels and should be exempt from the law because it results naturally from the cooking process. But the judge in Los Angeles said Starbucks and other coffee sellers failed to show the threat from acrylamide was insignificant. In high doses, the chemical has been found to cause cancer in mice. Still, some experts say the ruling does more harm than good. I believe in transparency, but at the same time, when you put a bold declaration, X may cause cancer, when then there isn't data to that effect in humans, to me it causes panic rather than informed knowledge. Others simply want to know the potential risks. And then you make a decision if you want to continue indulging in coffee as much as you do. I'll have maybe just two espressos every other day instead of four to six. <laughs> So as far as the science goes, research suggests coffee may lower the risk for diabetes and liver disease and has even been linked to a longer lifespan. Researchers have said more study is needed on a possible acrylamide and cancer risk. As for the ruling now, proposed California judicial decisions can be reversed, but that happens very rarely. How much you want to bet that judge is a tea drinker. Probably. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. We've all had our cup of coffee this oh, morning. Oh, we're going to have yes. many more. Until Thank you, those Jan. scientists tell us otherwise, <laughs> exactly. that direct link. I'll take my chances. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jan.